Uh, my name is Ron Morgan and uh, I'm the proprietor of the Coventry Toy Museum. Uh, the Toy Museum has grown over the last 40 years, starting with uh, my own private collection. The museum started uh, in 1962 uh, and it's been very popular ever, ever since. Uh, it grew out of my own private collection of toys. It's been a hobby of mine most of my life. And it became a family affair with uh, my wife and I and my two boys uh, for the last 20 years. And wherever we went, we would look out for old toys to add to my collection. The latest toys I have uh, in the museum are, are modern toys like Rubik's Cube and uh, games like Monopoly. Um, I like to keep the museum with an example of uh, everything, even though basically my policy is to collect old toys. I want to have an example of everything. Uh, there are a lot of individual dolls in my collection because I like things that are different. Uh, one-offs that have been handmade by people and some of them are quite scary, in fact they're quite frightening and uh, often people comment on them. The, there is no funding for the museum. Um, it's um, purely my own personal affair. Uh, I did try charging people who came in but a lot of them didn't want to pay a pound to come in and see it so they walked away which I didn't like. I want people to see the toys. So nowadays it's free to anybody who wants to come in and the only funding is there is a collection box, a voluntary contribution box and that brings in a few pounds but apart from that uh, it's financed purely out of my own pocket. The um, information centre which most visitors go to will recommend that they come here as well as the other art galleries and museums. Uh, as far as Coventry people are concerned, uh, I think most of them have already had a look around the museum because it's 44 years now that it's been open to them and a lot of them come and they bring the children because they were shown round when they were children. But in the main, it's visitors to the city. The difficulty for the future is that uh, a lot of children's play today is to do with computers or television screens where children press buttons and look at a screen. So the, the future looks bleak for me, I think, <laughs> as far as getting, you know, additional things, because I don't want to get into the electronic business. I don't want people in the museum just looking at screens.